Hi everybody. How you doing? Really, seriously. How are you? Tell me, how you doing in the comments? Or you know, just give me a call if you have my number. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you're well. I am doing okay. I um, Last week, was that last week, two weeks ago, I gave myself my corona cut. I'd finally reached the limit where I was like, you know what, I can't be this shaggy anymore with my hair sticking out all over around my ears. So I gave myself a cut and um, of course I recorded it, but I just haven't put together a video. So I'm going to put together a video and show that to you right now. It's also been a while since I've gotten a haircut, so here we go with the Corona cut. Let's do it. First, I'm gonna get my clippers set very high. Tried to do that. Tried to do this the other day, but my battery was low, and so I I did half of my beard. So can't tell because it's really long, or maybe you can tell. I don't know. This one's a little little trimmer than this side but now I'm gonna do it all and when I say all I'm gonna do it all see what happens battery died again not quite done what a mess paper shears So, that was me getting a haircut for the first time in the corona crisis. Um, so now I've done it a couple of times and it's getting easier and more just like, I don't care, just cut it so I don't have to feel it on my body. Um, but uh, I also wanted to, I, I got tagged in a thing on the social media fun times with like post an album picture and it says you know do it with no explanation but as I said in one of my comments is that I would give an explanation here on my YouTube channel uh, one of the one I, I got tagged by two different people Chris on Facebook what's up Bozen Doug on Instagram what's up Dougie uh, on, so on Facebook, I put the Michael W. Smith 2 album photo. And the reason why this album was significant is less about the music. The music was great for what it was, when it was. But it is what I remember as the first album that I purchased with my own money. And here's the story behind it. My grandmother used to work in a Christian bookstore in Bethany, Oklahoma. And... Uh, we, whenever we would go and visit, we would go see her at the bookstore, and she was always working. She worked there until she was 90-something years old. Um, then, uh, I remember going there, and my parents giving us money to buy an album, or buy something in the bookstore, and I remember finding that album and being like, this is, this is what I want to buy. I thought it was cool, because it was the 80s, and it was like the epitome of cool, that thing. Anyway, so that was the story behind that album cover. The other album cover that I posted on Instagram was YouTube War, and the story behind that was, uh, again, the, the music was great, the album was great, but the story behind it is we used, uh, um, was it 10th grade? It wasn't 10th grade, was it? 
I don't remember. I'll have to find the video. I have the video somewhere. Uh, we made a myth of... Uh, we we had to create part of our project was we had to create a myth, and so we created and filmed this mythological legend, and it was about these three brothers who uh, were fighting the evil knight, some evil knight. Anyway, um, the closing credits of the song, or the closing credits of the movie, was we we used the song. Uh, seconds from uh, U2's War and so that album whenever I think of it I think of 40 but I also think of takes a second to say goodbye say goodbye oh oh oh